Good afternoon, lovelies. Was it good afternoon or good morning? I think it's morning. Yes, good morning, lovelies. Rachel here from Rachel Academy. Hope you're having a wonderful hump day. It's Wednesday. Happy Wednesday here from the UK. And it's pouring with rain outside. It's been snowing for the last um, week. Um, we had snow yesterday. And apparently the um, weather forecast is going to be snow for a whole week um, this <laughs> coming um, week. So it's going to be interesting. I hope you guys are having a wonderful time, wonderful day, wherever you are watching my live. Um, I want to first um, apologise for not being able to go live yesterday evening at 5.30. Had some technical problems. We actually have a blackout here. I live in the country and um, sometimes, you won't believe it, in the UK we do have a blackout, especially where I am. They're kind of fixing all the um, pipe works, all the um, electric works, everything. Um, doing some upgrades and so due to that we had some technical issues so my apologies for those of you who wanted to or were waiting for me to go live yesterday I wasn't able to do that but I'm here today and we are going to talk about um, a great topic that I think is beneficial for all of us um, as individuals as entrepreneurs as business owners anyone just wanting to really truly um, take a pivot in their life and move forward. You know, I talk a lot here on Rotary Academy. I do do personal development. I do do about branding, marketing, social media. But what I try and do is something that I am living myself. Everything I share with you, everything I post online or on my website, rachelacademy.com, is really something that I'm going on my journey. Rachel Academy really started um, it was a personal blog of mine and I decided after I did that personal blog to take it to the next level and share content and share tips and information that I was going through my personal self. So even though it's kind of grown to um, something more than just a personal blog, I still try and sh share things that really I am doing there and then I'm doing right now in my business and in my life. So, you know, we are going through still, it's 2021, February 2021, and we're still going through uh, restrictions due to COVID. So I'm sure a lot of us have not gone back to the uh, normalness of life and business. And especially here in the UK, we still have certain restrictions and the dates keep changing all the time. And it can be a little bit um, annoying that, um, we are still in the situation, but it's all about being safe. It's all about making sure that, you know, the country, the individuals, we keep ourselves safe. So obviously the restrictions are in place for that reason. But um, I'm sure a lot of us are experiencing some um, side effects in relation to us being uh, restricted to manoeuvre, restricted to do as much as possible. Now, I've talked to you guys, those of you who have followed me for many uh, times, know that I have built my business for the last 14 years online. So a lot of my uh, transactions, a lot of things that I do, a lot of my systems, a lot of my foundation of Rachel Academy is all online. So I've been lucky enough to be able to continue business as usual. And so um, what I want to do today is something completely different. We are in the month of February. Um, all throughout January, I was focusing on a lot of projects because obviously 2020 was difficult because with the restriction, I wasn't able to complete a lot of goals and aspirations that I wanted to in 2020. So in 2021, I decided, and I do this, I do this every year, take a whole month of January, doesn't matter what um, I'm doing, and just really sit down and brainstorm and look back on my previous and past goals and look at my list and kind of measure and see where I am. And if I haven't accomplished some of those goals, I sit down again and do another brainstorm and kind of see where I can, you know, tweak things and move things around to make sure that I'm on track to achieve, you know, what I set out to achieve for a year. And I think that's important for us as business owners. That's important for us as human beings that we continually um, challenge ourselves to be our best self, challenge ourselves to live the life that we always wanted to live, live our dream life because you know one of Mars's hierarchy of needs Mars was a psychologist um 30 40 years ago and he created the hierarchy of needs of what human beings need for the basic necessities of us being happy joyful and being whole as human beings 
And he talks about the hierarchy of needs. One of them is always learning and always growing. And if as individuals we're not learning and growing, then we are stagnant and we won't become our best self. So it's important for us that every opportunity we have, which is always a good one, which is a new year, that we or a new month, that we pick ourselves up and look and assess our life, look and assess where we are and say, you know what, am I on track to accomplish what I want to accomplish in my life? And what I want to accomplish and what you want to accomplish is completely different from each other. And that is okay. That's the beauty of being unique. That's the beauty of being awesome. And you know what? That's what, how I like it. And so I want to talk about today. I want to build a foundation as we go forward. I will be coming and doing a live. I'm going to try and do two times a week, but definitely be once a week. I'm going to be coming on and doing a live. We're going to talk about some great and amazing um, topics. And each topic I'm going to talk about is going to jump on each other. They're going to kind of merge. So by the end of the year, if you look part, back on my videos, you'll be able to kind of follow a, a step-by-step -step, um, video to hopefully by the end of the year, get you to where you desire to be in that dream business, in that dream life, in that dream home, whatever it is. So my journey of personal development, my journey of even starting Retro Academy was through personal development. 14 years ago, I wasn't where I was today. I was um, really, really um, down on my luck. I lost everything. I lost my home. I lost my car. I lost every possession that I've owned. I lost my um, confidence. I lost who I was as a person. And I went through some difficult times. And I really didn't believe that I was going to be able to get out of that stuck situation that I was in. And I began my personal gym, um, development. And 14, literally, after, after I started that journey, you guys might have heard my story of being depressed for a whole year. I literally went through depression for a whole year. And I and I went through depression because of the situation and circumstances I found myself in. You know, I was broke, disgusted, and just down and out. And I really didn't think I was able to get out of that situation. And that feeling of being stuck and that feeling of being overwhelmed and feeling of... Um, make a mistake, embarrassment and the shame of the mistakes that I made in life that I went through a downhill of depression. And I started the personal development out of a, it wasn't by chance, it wasn't even a choice to start personal development because I didn't even know that going on a journey of personal development would have any effect on my life. And I did. Um, luckily, thank you to the universe, I started that journey. And that journey has taken me um, thus far that I've accumulating everything I lost and even more so and I'm a better person for it and you know I'm a totally different um, um, person totally different mindset the way I do things is completely different the, the people I hang about with is completely different and I think it's important for us as human beings especially as business owners that we go on a personal development journey and you know it doesn't matter how much money you have we are all the same we all need love we all need to be cherished. We all need affection. We all need the same basic hierarchy of needs, of safety, of um, um, food, of shelter. Those things are the basic things. And so in, in, in our DNA, it's important that we take self-care and go on a journey of personal development. Now, all that rambling is to start <laughs> on the topic we want to talk about today, the secrets to a millionaire mind, how to think your way to financial freedom. The secrets to a millionaire mind, how to think your way out to financial freedom. And don't we all need that in this time of difficulty? We need opportunities. We need to think differently. We need to think outside the box. And this is something that I went on my journey myself to start thinking my way out of my situation. And through that person, personal development, and thinking a different way, thinking my way out <laughs> of my uh, stuckness and my brokenness, I was able to come out on top. And so I'm going to share um, nine things that will help you think and develop a millionaire mind. Because money is not really the physical um, note, the £10, £50, whatever country you're watching from. Money is not that. Money really is energy. Energy, the energy that we use every single day, the energy that we place on what we do, the energy that we use our mind. Wealth and money 
is based on energy. The quicker you understand that, the better it will be for you to start building the life of your dreams. Money is energy. Money is currency. Currency is energy. What we use the, our money, our £10 notes or £50 notes or £5 notes when we go to the shop or our pound coins, when you see a big bank or when you want to invest, you don't see them investing with physical notes. They invest and do all their projects through currency, right? Currency. And currency is energy. Currency is energy. So when it comes to the secret of a millionaire mind, when it comes to building wealth, it all starts with our mind. Let me say that again. When it comes to building wealth, it all starts with our mind. And that's something I can truly say I've learned in this 14 years of my journey of coming out of being broke, coming out of being depressed, coming out with thinking there was no hope to now living the life of my dreams. I can truly say that the one thing that I've learned, the secret I can share with you is wealth and building the life of your dreams starts with your mind. So I want to share some great things with you. And I'm going to talk about how you can start thinking like a millionaire because I am on my journey to accomplish that this year. And I will let you know by the end of the year if I've achieved that. I have made a million pounds before and as quick as I made it, I lost it. <laughs> but I'm still on my journey of doing that again. So I have made a million pounds before and I know how I did that. And, you know, I was young when I made my money. And so I didn't have all the tools and the resources and the information and the knowledge I know now so I'll know how to make it and I'll know how to keep it this time around and um, some of you might be saying gosh you are so uh, relaxed with <laughs> losing that kind of money but you know what I didn't have that kind of money before so when I had it it was kind of like a shock and I made it through investments and um, I made a wrong decision investing it into another investment and I lost it so but what I want to share with you um, since I've started this journey I've started to see the changes in the way I am um, seeing my business and even through the COVID uh, situation I've made more money through that and I think the reason why I've made more money through um, COVID situation and through the COVID um, journey is because I started changing my thinking and that's the reason why I want to share that with you, because I think this is a really great secret that everyone needs to know, that you can really, by changing your focus, changing the way you view yourself, changing the way you view yourself in the world, changing the way you view your life and where people view you, or not even caring how, how people view you, is a great, great skill, a great secret, great um, foundation to begin a journey of um, entrepreneurship. And even if you're in business right now, this is a great tip to have. So we're going to talk about nine ways to um, think your way out of financial freedom. No matter where you are right now, doesn't matter how big you think your situation is, you can think your way out of it. So the first one we're going to talk about is step one, get clear on what you want. Now, something I realized on my journey when I was in the situation of being stuck and thinking there was no hope. I realized I didn't have a clear vision of my life. And if I look back prior to me getting stuck, I realized I didn't even know what my life looked like. I was constantly just living every day through circumstances. I didn't have a kind of direction for myself. I was directionless. I didn't have a focus on what I wanted to achieve with my life. And bear in mind, I was a mother of four. I was a wife. And so I had wasn't a young teenager, I was an adult, you know, but I grew up and I saw a lot of us grew up in societies not thinking that we have an option to create the dream life that we want. And um, through beginning that journey of um, personal development, I realized that I had a choice to create the life that I want. So the first step when it comes to thinking our way out of financial freedom is get clear on what you want. Now, start by getting um, clear on what you want. You have to take some time to ask, what do I want out of life? If you kind of realize that you knew what you wanted and maybe what you wanted to change, that is okay. Because as we grow as human beings, as we grow, we grow our tastes, our likes, our, what we want out of life grows as well with us. So it's okay to 
um, change what you wanted when you were a young teenager, as you grow older, maybe you were single, now you're married, and now you've got children. A lot of things change in life. And so it's okay to now in the new month of February to sit down, ask yourself that question, what do I want? And the best way to do that is get down a simple pen and paper and write down five to 10 things on that paper of what you want. It might take you a couple of days, it might take you a couple of weeks to um, sit down and answer that question. It might not be something that you might be able to do straight away, and that's okay. It's an eternal thing. You have to be honest with yourself, and you have to be specific on what you want. When I started my journey of personal development, I had to sit down and be specific with what I want, because I realized the life that I was living wasn't the life that I wanted. It was a life of choices that were made by other people and choices that were made by circumstances that happened to me. So I realized that for me to come out of my depression, for me to come and change my life, I had to be honest with myself, look at my situation and say, you know what, this is not where I want to be. How can I and what do I want so I can change the circumstances that I, I was in then? And so you need to ask yourself the question, be clear on what you want. Again, grab a pen and paper, sit down. Maybe you can do a brainstorm of what you want, what does that look like? You can add maybe pictures, maybe you can go online and get some um, pictures to kind of like motivate you, inspire you, to help you to be clear on what you want. The second thing is be specific as possible about your wishes. The more specific you are, the more you're able to think your way to financial freedom. Because we're going to be talking about, the topic I'm going to be talking about, some of you might think it might be airy-fairy, and I'm sure this is not the first time you've heard of the law of attraction, you've heard of the secret. But, you know, this is not a new thing. This is a part of human nature, and we've been doing this for centuries. But now we are going to be specific. We're going to focus on these topics, because it doesn't matter if you don't believe it or not there is a universal law and that universal law even if we don't believe it because even though the universal law was there i wasn't tapping into that universal law so i wasn't benefiting from that universal law and that universal law was con continually to exist even though i wasn't tapping into it but as soon as i tapped into that universal law my life changed for the better so take a pen and paper sit down and write down and ask the question be clear on what you want. And step two, let me give you an example. So when we're talking about being clear, so let's say, for example, you say you write down on being clear what you want. Um, I want to make uh, some money by the end of 2021. Now, that is a good thing to want, that you want to make some money. We all want to make some money. But when we're talking about thinking our way out of financial freedom, is that we have to be clear on it because we are tapping into uh, the universe to ask the universe to help us with the situations in our life to help us get out of that. So when you're writing it down and being specific, rather than just saying, I want to earn some money by the end of 2021, be specific. For example, I want to earn six figures by attracting five to 10 clients, paying me two to 5,000 a month by the end of 2021. That's a great way for you to be specific. So be specific on how you're going to do it. What are you going to do to help you make that money? Let's say for another example, you're wanting to buy a home this year. Maybe you're renting and you're looking to get yourself a mortgage and buy a home. Rather than saying that you know, I want to buy a house, buy a home by end of 2021, be specific. So say for example, I want to buy a 2,500 um, square acre, plot of land in the country by the end of 2021. You can talk about how many bedrooms that house wants. You can talk about, you know, if you want how size of the garden. If you don't know all the specifics, you can go online. There's many platforms that um, properties and um, platforms that sell properties. You can go and look at the sizes of that home, look at something that you like. And then when you're writing it down and being specific, when you're talking about step one, being clear on what you want, then you know exactly what you want. So you write that down. That's just some examples I'm giving you from the topic of step one, get clear on what you want. Now, the reason why it's important for us to get clear on what we want when it talks about thinking our way out, our, thinking our way to financial freedom is because we are engaging with a universal law of intention universal law of intention and that's the reason why we be we need to be specific the more specific we are the more intent that we're going to put out into the universe 
that we mean what we say. And just think about it. When you are, if you notice during the, during the day or maybe when you're stressed out and you're trying to focus on something, the more you are not, you're less focused, the more you find that you're not able to complete that project. So it's important that we are clear. The more clear we are, the more what we're going to find that we're going to have the energy to be able to make certain decisions that's going to lead us to us achieving that goal. That's why it's important when we come to creating financial freedom that will be clear, make it as clear as possible and write it down on a piece of paper. If you see any successful entrepreneur or business owner or millionaire, they always talk about writing their goals down. So taking the action of writing up goals down will help us begin a journey of financial freedom, thinking our way to financial freedom. Step two, uncovering your why. Why do you want to earn six figures? Why do you want that big house? This is an important part of it as well. I remember for me, when I started my journey and I came across an amazing um, video on YouTube and on that video, one of the questions the gentleman was talking about is, what is your why? And I was like, you know what? I don't know my why. At How old was I when I started my journey? So I would have been about 31, 32. At 32, I really didn't know my why. Happy new month to you as well. Happy new month. I didn't know my why. And I thought I would have known my why at the age of 31, but I didn't know my why. And a lot of us go through life not knowing our why. And so it's important when it comes to thinking our way out of um, thinking our way out of financial um, um, difficulties is important that we know our why. Why do you want to have that extra money? Why do you want that big house? Why do you want that relationship? Why do you want that car? Because if we stop and think about it, maybe sometimes we're making decisions because of peer pressure. You know, um, I come from a um, really strong uh, household of women. <laughs> And sometimes, I, you know, I realised as a young child, I was doing things because my sisters were doing it. I had an older sister and a younger sister, and I was the middle one. And I realised I was making certain decisions in my life, the kind of um, courses I went to take in school, and all the things, the kind of sports I went to do was because my sisters were doing it. And it took me a while to kind of, kind of be independent for myself. So it's important that you know your why. And I'm going to suggest a couple of questions that you should ask yourself you know ask yourself why you want these things why do you want the things that you feel like will make a difference to your life and uh, you need to know that you truly want these things because when we are putting intention into creating the life that we want especially when we're talking about creating financial freedom it's important because there's going to be a lot of work that's going to be involved in getting ourselves out of being stuck you know, when I went through depression, when I went through the situation of um, financial drought, I knew there was going to be a lot of work I was going to have to do to get myself out of that situation. But because I knew my why and because I was clear on what I wanted, I felt I was confident to be able to do it. And it didn't matter what I went through. I knew that this is what I wanted to do because of that reason. So you have to be clear on your why. Why do you want those things? So there's three questions you should ask yourself. Is this, is this really and truly what I want? Is this really, truly what I want? Question number two, how will I benefit in my life from having this? How will I benefit from having that great career? How will I benefit from having that relationship? How will I benefit from having that home? How will I benefit? So put whatever you are desiring to accomplish in 2021 and say, how will I benefit from if I accomplish that thing and the third question you should ask yourself when it comes to uncovering your why when i think of having this how do i feel when i think of having that new job that career that relationship that child how will i feel these are important questions to ask yourself when we are starting to create the foundation so we can live the life that we know that we deserve especially you know when it comes to creating and manifesting financial freedom. It all begins in the mind. It doesn't matter where you are. It doesn't matter what's happening around us. The power is in the mind. I know this might not be a topic to talk about on LinkedIn, but this is the foundation I'm going to begin on before I come and talk about other topics. It's important that we know the power that we have as human beings because creating a business I've found in the last 14 years, a lot of it, I would say, you know, 65 to 70% 
is all to do with the mind. I've had to change and pivot a lot of things in my business, even through this COVID situation. And if I didn't have the confidence in myself and confidence in my ability, I probably would have crumbled many, many times and even during these times um, with uh, my business. So it's important that you understand your why, step two. And number one, be clear on what you want. Step three, when it comes to creating financial freedom, is time to ask for it. Time to ask for it. Now, when it comes to us manifesting the life that we want and creating financial freedom, and I'm sure you've heard this before if you've watched The Secret, Secret or you've read the book or you've listened to a lot of motivational speakers, let me say something as well. This is nothing completely to do with them. Um, the topic kind of similar but nothing to do with it i was watching a, a series which i suggest that you guys watch um, this is the second series um second season i watched season one and it's called undercover billionaire um undercover billionaire is all about i think you can find it on lots of tv channels if you go on youtube i know season one is on youtube as well and undercover billionaire is this um, gentleman and he was a billionaire <laughs> and he um, decided that he was going to what if he lost everything would he be able to make that money again so undercover um, billionaire is a series where he goes into a whole new city a whole new country a whole new town and he only has a hundred dollars and with that hundred dollars he's got i think 60 to 90 days to build a million dollar business it's a great um, show to watch and I'm watching season two and Grant Condone. Grant Condone is a property uh, mogul. He invests in property. You, if you go on YouTube, you'll find a lot about him. Um, I follow him on Instagram. You can find him on Instagram as well, Grant Condone. I'm sure Grant Condone is on um, LinkedIn as well. And I was watching season two. And this season two is a little bit different because season two has three, two other people um, joining Grant Condone on um, Undercover Billionaire. And what I loved about um, watching the season, I love it, love it, love it. Um, what I love watching about it is that you've got three different people. You've got two women and you've got one guy, right? And they're going to three different locations um, in um, United um, USA, right? They're going to three different locations. But the, what I found interesting about those three different individuals was that they went through the process the same way. So they're, all of them were given $100 and they're all giving, taken to a different location and a location they've never been to before. And they had to, they got 90 days to build a million dollar business. And what I found interesting in watching um, Undercover Billionaire was that they all had the same mindset. They all had the same mindset. They all were doing similar things to begin their journey of creating that million dollar business and that's what I you know wanted to kind of you know want to kind of put to you guys you know that is important that we understand that making money is not rocket science that it really really truly begins with being confident about ourselves being confident with who we are and just watching Undercover Billionaire showed me even more so that these three people what made them successful in their business, what made them successful in their life is that they believed in themselves. They put intention into what they were doing. They were very clear on their why. They were very clear on their mission. They were very clear on how they were going to show up in the world. And so when we come to step three of creating financial freedom, it's time to ask for it. Now, it's time to ask for it can cover lots of different ways. It's time for us to take up time once we've we be clear on what we want. Step one, step two, we know our why. We've asked the question, why we, do we want to be successful? How will us being successful change our lives? What are we willing to do when it comes to us being successful? And then now we need to start putting intention into it. A lot of people can do it through meditation, having a daily meditation. You can do um, write a letter down and sit down, like setting down a goal and writing down some. Um, intentions of what you're going to do to start building that journey of financial freedom. You can create a vision board. You know, it could be a digital free vision board, or you can get a glue paper, sellotape, and you can get pictures from magazines. You can cut that out and you can create a, a vision board and put it in your home, in your office, somewhere prominent that you see it. You can even do prayer, 
Prayer is another great way for us to relax and focus and put intention into what we want to accomplish. So there's lots of ways that we can start asking for and preparing ourselves for the foundation to start asking the universe to help us on our journey of financial freedom. Okay, lots of different ways that you can do it. Step four is trust and believe in your dream. Trust and believe in your dream. Your dream is important. If it wasn't important, we wouldn't dream. Dreaming is so important for human beings. And I've definitely seen the importance of dreaming. I've had a life of not dreaming and I've had a life of dreaming. And I can see the difference it is when I have intention and I really focus on the things that I want to accomplish in life. So you've got to believe and trust in your dream, that your dream is important. If it doesn't even if it's important to anyone else, it's important to you. You won't feel happy. You won't feel whole as a human being if you don't accomplish your dream. So believe and trust in your dream and believe that your dream is important to you. So it's important that you begin this journey of financial freedom so you can start living the life of your dreams. We're going to talk at step five, take action. Now, when we might have heard of personal development or maybe we've heard of the law of attraction or the secret, sometimes we get mistaken that, you know, all we have to do is visualize and focus, you know, and that's all we need to do. But true um, visualization, true manifestation comes when we put action into it. Now, you know, if you have ever read the Bible, you know, it, there's a scripture in there that says um, faith without works is dead. So, yes, we need to trust in our dreams. Yes, yes, we need to believe that our dreams is going to happen. But we also need to take action in that. So let me tell you a story of what I did, you know, on my journey of 14 years. But I had a dream of owning my own home. And I did own my own home before. But like I said, I lost everything. Hanging hanging out with the wrong kind of people and making um, certain decisions that led me down the wrong way. So that led me through depression. And I remember when I started my journey, had that reign of thought, what if I thought differently about my life? What if I thought differently about myself? Could I change my situation? And so when I began my journey, I thought, you know what? I was in a rented accommodation. The rent was very, very, very expensive. I was like, you know what? I need to kind of own my own home. And so I started being clear on what I wanted. I knew what kind of home I wanted. I knew how many bedrooms that I wanted to have. I knew where I wanted it to be. And so I I was very clear on that. I knew my why because I had four children and I knew that renting wasn't you know good for me it would be better for me to own my own property so I knew my why and so I started putting my intentions into that I trusted in my dream and then I started taking action and so the action that I started taking was I started contacting the state agents and telling them the kind of house that I wanted telling them to put me on the list if any house came on the market that they would send it to me by email and then when the state agents would send the um details um, of the house I would make an appointment and I would go and view it did I have a deposit for the house no I didn't did I have any money no I didn't but because I believed in my dream I put that intention out to the universe and I just took action and started going out to view different properties and I after I'd done that for about I think it was five to six months literally every weekend I was going to view different kinds of properties in the different kinds of areas and different properties. But what I knew was it had to be a four to five bedroom. It had to have a garden. I knew certain specifics about that um, vision of the dream that I wanted, that kind of house I wanted. So I was going around every weekend looking at different houses, taking action. While I was looking for those houses, I went to the bank, you know, try to look at my credit, try and get my credit um, sorted out because obviously my credit had been shot, looking for ways, looking for information online, how I could fix my credit. I was doing everything I could do possible to kind of prepare myself for when I would go and, you know, (laughs) find that dream home. And within, I think it was about under a year, I was able to move into my new home. I actually, where I'm sitting now, I've been here almost 10 years in this new home. Okay, so what I'm talking about really does work. When you're clear on the kind of life you want, it really does make it easier that you can do action bite steps day by day that will lead you to the goal, that will lead you to that project, that will lead you to that dream that you want for yourself. So start taking action. 
So what would be great as well is once you've done your, we talked about in step um, two, knowing your why, ask yourself, yourself the question, and you know we write down and get a paper, 10 things of what we want to achieve in life. When we are taking action, even if it's a small um, success that we have, go back into that list, look at that list, you say, you know what, I'm going to view a property, I saw a property that was similar to what I was looking for, you know, and tick it off, or maybe, for example, you know, you'll, um, you have a potential client that, you know, will be um, someone that you can work with. They might not have said yes yet, but, you know, start ticking it off. And start ticking off small little um, successes that you see along the way. That's step five. Now, step six, when it comes to creating financial freedom, is being honest with what's holding you back. A lot of things hold us back. I know for me, the fear of failure was holding me back for picking myself up again and start rebuilding my life. In the fear of failure, we all fear, fear failure. And we also might fear success. There's a lot of things that hold us back. So when it comes to creating financial freedom, step six, we need to identify what it is that is holding us back. Be honest with ourselves, take some time to do some reflection, um, look at ourselves and really truly ask ourselves, what am I afraid of? What am I afraid of? What's stopping me from creating or beginning a journey to start building the life that I want? What is holding me back? And when you're clear about what's holding you back, then you can kind of assess it and see it more because sometimes it's um, imagery is fair that actually isn't there. For me, yes, I made a mistake. I kind of moved with my life, you know, and I was starting to rebuild my life. But when I was rebuilding my life, I had learned my lesson from the mistakes I made in the past. So I wouldn't make those mistakes again. But I was fearful that I was going to make those mistakes again because I made the mistakes before. So a lot of the fear wasn't actually real fear. The fear was based on past mistakes. And that could be you. Things that might be holding you back might not be real, but might be based on past mistakes or you seen someone that's made a mistake or whatever it could be. So you need to be um, honest with yourself and just ask yourself, what is the things that's holding you back from you really going for your dreams? It's important to know that there will be bumps along the road to success. Success isn't a smooth journey. Success is up and down, right? So you have to be aware of that, that even though you begin in this journey to grow your business, to live the life of your dreams, to acquire financial freedom to you know build wealth in your life it's not going to be smooth sailing you're going to have ups and downs this whole 14 years have been ups and downs but you know what i'm rather prefer the life that i'm living now than life that i was living before right challenges will arise and you have to be confident that when those challenges arrive that you believe in your dreams you believe in your goals that you have the faith and you have the strength to be able to do it and then you have to just keep going no matter what it looks like around you. It might look like what you are wanting to do is not going to work. It might look like, you know, you begin a journey of, you know, I'm going to change my life. I'm going to build that dream business, you know, and you might start, start doing it. And things might start crumbling around you. I know for me, when I started out of like picking myself up, you know, I was like moving on. Things weren't working out all the time. But I knew that I was a different person. I was thinking different. And just that alone gave me the confidence to keep going and keep going. So you're going to realize things are going to happen along the way. Step seven, reinforce your desires. Reinforce your desires, again, is keep going back to your dream. Keep going back to that mood board. Keep going back to what and why you are on this journey to financial freedom. Again, my dreams and your dreams are going to be completely different. But we need a motivating force. We need you know, it could be for your children. You want to make sure they have a better life than what you've had. You know, you've got to have a why. Your why has to be big enough that it's going to help you get out of bed every morning. Your why has to be big enough. So it's important that you reinforce your desires and you, you know, keep looking back. Maybe write a journal on the journey of you starting this new life. Maybe, you know, go back to your vision boards and change some things on there. You know, what I find that works for me was... um affirmations i would get up every morning and i would have you know 10 affirmations and i would say those 10 affirmations in the morning and in the night and if i wanted to add another affirmation i add one affirmation every month and i would say those affirmations every single day because it's all about reprogramming our minds our minds is a muscle and muscle needs massaging muscle needs tension on it 
And especially if we've been thinking one way and now we want to think another way, if we've been thinking a negative way and now we want to think a positive way, we're going to have to reprogram and retrain our mind. So it's important that we do repetition. Repetition is an important key when it comes to manifestation, manifesting the things that we want in our life. Repetition is important when it comes to changing something in our life. When you want to begin a new journey, repetition is key to helping you achieve that in your life. All right. So let's just do a quick recap before I end on what we're talking about today. And we're talking about the secrets to millionaire mind, how to think your way to financial freedom. We talked about step one, get clear on what you want. And I gave you a couple of examples on that. We talked about step two, uncover your why. Why do you want to begin a journey of financial freedom? And I talked about three questions that you should ask yourself. You know, first one, is this really what you want? Number two, how will you benefit from use? achieving that goal and then number three when you you achieve that goal how would you feel about it so that's two then we talked about it in three we talked about um time to ask for it. it's time to begin to um, build the foundation on the journey to start changing and creating the life that you want so we talked about meditation you can start getting the practice of meditation we talked about maybe getting a pen and paper and write it down a list or write yourself you know, a journal so you can see on a piece of paper the goals that you want to achieve. Then we talked about creating a mood board, put it somewhere prominent in your home. And then we talked about being um, step four, trust and believe in your dream, to trust that what you've put down is going to come, it's going to happen, that you have the strength and the ability to be able to accomplish that dream. Then we talked about it, step six, you know, what's holding you back, being clear on what's holding you back, what are your fears, what are you afraid of, what are your limiting beliefs, you know, be honest about it, you know, no one's going to know, it's between you, yourself, <laughs> so no one's going to know, so the more um, real and honest you are about where you are in life and how you feel, what fears are holding you back, then the easier it is for you to deal with those fears and build a great foundation for you to start creating the life of your dreams and working your way to financial freedom then we talked about in step seven reinforcing your desires going back and looking on your mood board going back and looking on the um, list that you put down and look and see you know and just stare at every single day you know build a, a lifestyle of words of affirmation and just keep repetition keep repeating the things that you want to achieve in life because it's all about changing our mindset we talked about the mind being the muscle and we have to if you've been a person that's thought negative about things in life, for us to start thinking positive, we have to start creating a new habit in our life. So a new a habit of positive thinking, a new habit of thinking and doing things differently, a new habit of hanging about with the right people, a new habit of re reading the right books. So it's all a, a, a new concept for us. You know, it's not something that is going to be overnight. You've got to realise that building a life of success is going to have ups and downs. It's not going to be a smooth road. And then we're going to talk about um, step um, eight, and it's acknowledge and celebrate your successes. So once you are on your journey of financial um, freedom and you're starting to create the life of your dreams, celebrate the small successes. It doesn't matter how small it is, celebrate the small successes. And then number nine, keep your vibrations high. Now, what I mean by keeping your vibrations high is that <laughs> when you are beginning a journey of change, you're going to find that you might hit brick wall walls along the way. I know for me, when I began my journey of coming out of depression, not every day was a good day, but I knew I began the journey. So when days I felt like I wasn't you know, confident on the um, journey, didn't believe that I could you know, change my circumstances, or my situation, I would think back of positive things that happened in my life, or I would go on YouTube and watch a really motivational um, talk. Um, I would go and watch a really motivational video. I, I would go to the library um, where I was, and I would look for a really motivational book. I was constantly keeping my vibrations high. I was keeping my energy, keeping my faith high. And we need to do that. You know, I think Zig Ziglar talked about it. He said in the quote about... Um, you know, when we talk about um, personal development and, you know, you're saying, yeah, personal development, we're always going to have to do it all the time. It's just like us getting every, getting up every day and brushing our teeth and having a wash. We have to do it every day because, yeah, we get up in the morning, 
brush our teeth, we have a bath. By the end of the night, we're going to get dirty and we're going to have to do it every single day. And that's the same thing with motivation. And that's the same thing with personal development. You're going to have to do it every day. It's not a one-time um, thing for us. We have to keep doing it so that we can start seeing the results that we want to see. And that's the same with positive thinking. That's the same with taking action. You know, it's step by step. We have to be consistent in the, us making that decision that this is what we want out of life. This is what we're going to do. And once you make that decision, you have to be consistent every single day. And I can truly say to you guys that the last 14 years has been a constant decision of this is the life that I want. And I can truly say I'm living the life that I want right now. I hope what I've said has made sense to you guys. <laughs> and it's completely different from the topics I've talked about today. But I want to begin with that. As we enter um, a new month, we're in a new month already. I think it's the 3rd of February today. And, you know, um, I just felt it would be a great topic to talk about. I will be coming on and doing lots of different topics, um, all about business and branding. I suppose this topic is close to my heart. It's a bit for me. You know, sometimes you feel a little bit nervous putting your heart out there to the world. But you know what? That's what I'm all about, just keeping it real. So um, thank you so much for taking that time to join me on my live. I hope what I've shared with you and helps you in some shape or form. I'm going to wish you a happy Wednesday. I will see you um, Friday, and we'll be doing another live. Wishing you all a wonderful Wednesday. Take care, lovelies. Bye-bye.